This is part of the brand new CNN poll, which was mostly taken in August before President Correct. Biden announced a series of new requirements. But, Harry, we see a serious growth here in support for vaccine requirements. Going up, 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 climbing higher and higher, as Jackie Wilson once said. Look here. Support for vaccination mandates, a 10-person school, 55%, a 10 sports spends, 55%, work in person, 54%. Only shop in a grocery store at 41% has less than majority support. But the key here is the trend line. Look at this, 49 to 55, 47 to 55, 46 to 54. And even in shop in a grocery store, up 15 points from 26 to 41%. So aside from the last one, a majority and growing. Correct. All right. If you ask it another way, though, broadly speaking, the issue of requirements, what do people say? Yeah, you know, getting back to what H. The Hutchinson was saying, speaking about a partisan divide, this, I think, might be where we're heading if Republicans continue to push, or at least some Republican leaders push against vaccine mandates. So we asked it this way. Vaccine mandates for everyday activities outside of the home are acceptable to increase vaccinations. Look at that, 51 percent, well within the margin of error. An unacceptable infringement on rights, which a lot of Republicans are going to argue, 49%. And look at the partisan divide. This kind of looks like a presidential approval rating. Not quite as bad, but still fairly close. If you're a Democrat or lean Democrat, 75% support that these vaccine mandates are acceptable to increase vaccinations. But look at this. 76% among Republicans or independents who lean Republican, an unacceptable infringement on rights. So a very clear partisan divide, at least on the broader question. I will say, when you look at this number here, I wonder how many of these people are against the vaccine mandates for schools that exist in every single state right now. Yeah. They say they're opposed to it, but they all live somewhere where there absolutely are vaccine requirements. All right, let's talk about partisan views on CDC, guys. Actually, it's not partisan views, just what the CDC says. What are people doing? Yeah, so do you adhere to CDC corona coronavirus guidance? 49% say always. Now, depending on which way you want to add this up, right? Look, a significant chunk, 38% say sometimes this hardcore never is just 13%. But you could argue that this is a majority, right? 51% who say sometimes or never. But most people, most Americans are at least sometimes following the guidance. They're not always, but at least sometimes following the guidance. In terms of a change, we see an increase in support for mandates, but we also see an increase in, I would say, trepidation, right? Yes. Yes, I, I would say that that's exactly right. So look, look here. Views on the coronavirus pandemic. Is the pandemic over? No. 86% say it's not. Has the economic recovery not started? Look at that. 64%. Still taking precautions every day. Again, look at that. 64%. So there's still a lot of people who are out there are scared who don't believe that this pandemic is over quite yet. I mean, it's not over, right? No. I mean, 80, no. 80, 86 is actually low given the reality that we're maybe, seeing every day. Maybe it should be 100%, but still, you rarely find 86% of Americans agree on everything, and they do certainly agree on the fact that the pandemic is not over. Where are our vaccination numbers? Yeah. Woo! College grads, 88%. Lean Democrat, 86%. White, 73%. People of color, 72%. Non-college grads, 64%. Lean Republican, 58%. Vaccines are very, very popular. Even if there is a divide, say a partisan divide between Republicans and Democrats or college grads and non-college grads, the fact is a majority of adults in pretty much every single demographic group has at least gotten one dose of a vaccine so far. That, in my mind, makes this a pretty successful campaign, if, uh, e even if we could be doing better. A very smart man once told me that vaccinations are vac these vaccines are as popular as Christmas trees. I think I know that guy. Perhaps I'll talk to him afterwards. Buffalo Bills guy, about six foot two, maybe around 25 to 34 very years old. Very handsome. Looks like Harry. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, Harry. Thank you.